Newfoundland and Labrador is the easternmost province of Canada. Situated in the country's Atlantic region, it incorporates the island of Newfoundland and mainland Labrador to the northwest. It has a combined area of over 400,000 square kilometers, with a population of just over half a million people. Newfoundland and Labrador is a province with a rich cultural heritage, with both native indigenous populations and a settler population of predominantly English and Irish ancestry. The island of Newfoundland has a long history associated with the North Atlantic cod fishery, and much of its local culture and flavor evolved in small fishing villages scattered along the island's long coastline. Cultural and social traditions persisted in many small isolated communities after they had faded or changed in the European communities where they were born. By 1992, once plentiful codfish stocks had dwindled to near extinction. Fearing they would disappear entirely if the fisheries remained open, the Canadian government instituted a moratorium on northern cod stocks. The moratorium abruptly ended a way of life that had endured for generations in many rural communities, leading to a decline of rural settlements throughout Newfoundland and Labrador. This is one of the reasons we have an intangible cultural heritage program in Newfoundland and Labrador. We recognize our ICH is at times fragile, Our rural communities in particular are changing dramatically. To face this change head-on, the Heritage Foundation of Newfoundland and Labrador established its ICH office in 2008 to ensure that intangible cultural heritage is safeguarded as both a living heritage and as a source of contemporary creativity. The ICH strategy has four goals. Documentation, celebration, transmission, and cultural industry. Documentation is the work of inventorying and recording local cultural traditions. A large part of our work is about giving communities the tools to undertake ethnographic documentation projects on their own. Heritage NL provides training in project planning, ethnographic documentation, archival metadata, and whatever skills are needed at the local level. The information we document such as these traditional dancers in the community of Old Perlican, is then shared online through Memorial University's Digital Archives Initiative. Traditions live when they are enacted and reenacted at the community level. This is the second pillar in our strategy, celebration. Part of Heritage NL's work has been to bring attention to traditions and local knowledge through festivals, presentations, and educational activities, such as through the celebration and promotion of our traditional Christmas disguised house visiting tradition called Mummering. In 2009, we created a Mummers Festival, which now has its own organization carrying on the safeguarding of that particular tradition. The third pillar of our strategy is transmission. We want to see traditions live and to be passed on to the next generation. So where we can, we create opportunities to pass along traditional skills and knowledge. This has included workshops and craft making sessions, in addition to documenting and creating YouTube videos such as this one, showing traditional birch broom maker Joshua Young carving a broom. The fourth and final pillar of our work is about cultural industry. We want to promote sustainable development and to encourage the use of traditional skills, knowledge, and activities to create both employment and healthier communities. In 2018, Heritage NL started a series of Living Heritage Economy case studies, which demonstrate how local entrepreneurs and social enterprises, such as the Green Family Forge, are using traditional knowledge and skills to create employment and business opportunities. We recognize that our intangible cultural heritage is traditional and contemporary at the same time. All right, are we ready for the song? It does not only represent inherited traditions from the past, but also contemporary rural and urban practices in which diverse cultural groups take part. Oh. 
Over the past decade, the Heritage Foundation's Intangible Cultural Heritage Office, alongside our many community partners, have been working to document, celebrate, and transmit this living heritage in Newfoundland and Labrador. For more information on Heritage NL and our programs to safeguard local intangible cultural heritage, visit heritagefoundation.ca or ichblog.ca.